quite like uh, aldehydes. Ketones also contain the carbonyl group, which to remind you was C double bond O. But if I go back to this page here, you realize that uh, aldehydes always contain this at the end of the chain. So uh, you have this carbon here and at the end of the chain you had C double bond O and then a H here as well. With ketones, the C double bond O is going to be in the middle of the chain. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw uh, propanone. So they always end in anone, A-N-O-N-E, anone. So I'm going to draw propanone, which is the first member of the series. Propanone is the first member in the series because the C double bond O can't be at the edge of the chain. It has to be in the middle. So propanone is the smallest member in the series. Now the properties of this are really similar to aldehydes. So the boiling point, uh, the corresponding of the corresponding molecules of ketones are higher than the corresponding alkanes and lower than the corresponding alcohols. Uh, so I'm, uh, now I'm going to move ahead. Actually, before I move ahead, I'm going to write down their general formula, which is R, R1, C, so this is the carbonyl group in the middle, R2. R just means uh, uh, a carbon chain. So you could you have a carbon chain over this direction and a carbon chain over this direction. So you have the C double bond O. I had a carbon chain of one over this side and a carbon chain of one over this side. Now I could have had a carbon chain of two over this side or uh, and like I can do anything. Like I can have as many carbons as I want. So R1 could be the same as R2 or it could be different. In this case, in propanone, they're both the same because there's a one carbon carbon chain and a one carbon here as well. Okay, so uh, moving onwards. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is carboxylic acids. The functional group of carboxylic acids is the carboxyl group, which is COOH. Now, uh, if you were to draw it structurally, it would look like this. You would have C and then a double bond O, OH. So you notice you have the hydroxyl group here, the OH, and you have the carbonyl group here, C double bond O, and together, so carbonyl plus hydroxyl together they give you carboxyl so the carbonyl and the hydroxyl uh, together give you the carboxyl group which is COOH and all acids have this at the end of the chain so uh, carboxylic acids always have a boiling point higher than alcohols even. to have a higher bo boiling point than alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and even alcohols. This is because of something uh, called a dimer structure. Uh, so uh, I'm going to discuss this in more detail on in the organic chemistry reactions chapter, but you need to know that because of the dimer structure, these carboxylic acids have a higher boiling point than all of the compounds. These have the highest boiling point. So the first member of the series is called methanoic acid. So it'll be drawn like this.
This is methanoic acid. It is found. Uh, it's found in uh, nettles. So that's what makes nettles stink. It's methanoic acid, and that's the formula for it. Uh, then you also have ethanoic acid, which is of course used in vinegar. So that's drawn like this. This is ethanoic acid. Okay, so finally we're going to talk about esters. Esters always end in a noish, by the way. Okay, so the general formula of esters is R1 COO R2. Structurally, this could be written as C double bond O. Oh, this is the COO right here. And this oxygen is attached to an R2. And this carbon is attached to an R1. This R and R are R, R and a carbon chain. So there's a carbon chain over this side, and there's a different carbon chain over this side. So there's a carbonyl group and an oxygen attached to the carbonyl group. Okay, so now there's a really important thing to note here. There's two parts to this molecule. There's an acid part and there's an alcohol part. So the acid part would be, if you remember the acids, they always have COOH. So there's COO. C O O. There's no H, but you can recognize this. This is the acid part. So that's the acid part right here because it's C O O, and there should be a H. But this looks really similar to an acid, a carboxylic acid. And there's also an alcohol part to this because if you remember, alcohols always have an O H group at the end. Now there's an O here. There's no H, so this looks similar to an alcohol. So that's the acid part, that's the alcohol part. So there's O but no H, and O but no H over this side either. So there's the acid part, and there's the alcohol part. Now, when you get around to naming esters, the acid part is always the main part for naming. So, I'll give you an example. So, I'm going to draw gonna draw this I'm gonna draw metal ethanoid so metal ethanoid so I have the functional group here the COO -O, and I'm gonna draw metal ethanoid so since the acid part is the main main part ethanoid it says et so there has to be two carbons in the main part ethanoid that's the main part so the main part is the acid, so there's going to be two carbons here, and it's going to have H's over this side. So metal ethanoid, we have the ethanoid part here, but to have the metal, the alcohol part is secondary. So anything coming off the hydrogen, anything coming off this oxygen here, is going to be the metal or ethyl or uh, propyl those kind of things at the start that's going to be the alcohol part so here since we have ethyl metal ethanoid there's going to be one carbon here since it's metal so there's going to be hydrogen coming off here here and here so we have metal ethanoid here
the acid part is the main part so there is the acid part ethanoic that's the main part so I'm gonna circle the acid part for you so here's the acid part the acid part uh, is the main for the naming and now I'm gonna go back to the alcohol part which forms the metal so that that's the metal uh, now with esters the boiling point is similar to aldehydes and ketones aldehydes and ketones so all esters would be uh, would have a higher boiling point than their corresponding uh, alkanes and that's that and there's examples of esters would be triglyceride Those of you that do biology would know that this is a lipid or a fat. Uh, 